Okay, so in today's lesson, uh, we're dealing with more word problems and uh, lots of diagrams and uh, lots of calculating here. So pretty cool. I like this problem here. I wanted to talk about this particular problem because it shows up a lot. And it's a pretty cool problem to solve here. So we have a park and it looks like it's in the shape of a rectangle. So the first thing I'm going to do, do is draw a nice little rectangle right here. And it looks like uh, the length there is four times uh, the width. All right, so the distance around the park, call that a perimeter, is 12.5 kilometers. And we need to find the area. So I need to find out the length and the width. Okay, so here's my length. Here's my width. What do I know? I know that the length is four times the width. So whatever the width is, the length is four times that size. So if the width is two, times four is eight, so the length would be eight. Now, here's the deal. We need to think of this in terms of units. So um, if the width here is just one, one particular unit, okay, that means the length is four of those units, okay? So instead of using a one, I'm just going to use the letter U just to signify that these are all units. So if it's four times the size, whatever it is in unit, whatever unit this is, there are four of them for the length. Okay, here's another unit here for the width, and I can break this up into parts. Why four? Because it's four times the size. One, two, three, four. Now, why am I drawing all of those units in? Well, what I want to do is deal with the perimeter. They told me the perimeter, P, is 12.5 kilometers. Now, why are all of these U's important? Well, the fact is, no matter what that unit is, I need 10 of them to actually get around that perimeter. So, why 10? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 particular units. Okay? So the perimeter not only is 12.5 kilometers, but it's also 10 units. Okay? What I need to find out now is how many or how much is each unit worth. So if it's 12.5 kilometers all the way around and I have 10 units, I would need to find out how much is each of those units worth. In other words, I need to take my 12.5. And I need to divide that by 10. Now, what I love about this is, well, we've been doing this all year. Place value. Okay, I have a 12.5. I'm dividing by 10, so I'm losing one, one place value. So this 5 winds up here. A 5 tenths becomes 5 hundredths. 2 in the 1's place winds up 2 in the tenths place. And a 1 in the 10's place winds up uh, a 1 in the 1's place. So my answer is 1. 0.25 kilometers. Okay, which means all of these units here is 1.25. So if I was to erase this, or actually I'll draw a new one, I'll draw a new rectangle here. Okay, so this is a 1.25 kilometers. And each of these units here are all 1.25 kilometers. 1.25 kilometers. 1.25 kilometers and 1.25 kilometers. Okay? Now, why is this important? Well, if I'm going to find the area, I need the length and the width. Right now, I have the width. Okay? I, ha I know that value. I need to find out the length. So let's draw this out a little bit. If the width equals 1.25 kilometers, and my length is four times the size, that means I'm going to have four of these boxes or 1.25s. Okay? Here's a 1.25, here's a 1.25, here's a 1.25, and here's a 1.25. Just add them up. So my width is 1.25, and I need to find this value here. So I have four 1.25s, so I need a 1.25 times 4. Okay? There's a 20, there's an 8, 9, 10, there's a 5. Okay? Here's my decimal. How do I know my decimal goes here? Because if I wrote it another way, here's 125 hundredths. Okay, because 1.25 is 125 hundredths. I want to get rid of that decimal. I want to solve this in unit form. Times 4. I get my 5 and my 0 and my 0, but it's hundredths. Okay, so in standard form, 500 hundredths equals. 5.00, for plain old 5. Okay? 5 kilometers, that is. So here's my 5 kilometers. Now, 
I did all of that work just to find my length and my width. To find my area, I can draw this down. Okay, this is kind of neat. So here's my five kilometers for my length. Here's my 1.25 for my width. My area dictates well, the formula. I need to multiply my length times my width. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but at least let's find the, uh, the answer to that. So I have my 1.25 times my 5. Okay. Running out of space a little bit here, so I'm going to go up top. So 125 hundredths. How do I get 125 hundredths? Well, it's 1.25. I want to get rid of that decimal while I multiply. Times 5. Okay. There's a 25. That's a 10, 11, 12. And that's a 6. So I have 625 hundredths. Which equals in standard form 6.25. Now, since this is area, it's kilometers, squares. Now, where do the squares come from? Now, this is kind of cool. Let's take a look at this diagram here. I have five kilometers for each. I'm going to split this up into five, five parts. So I have one, two, three, four, five um, the columns signifying each kilometer. So that's one kilometer, two, three, four, five kilometers across. Now, watch this. I have 1.25 kilometers as my width. So let's say that here is my full kilometer. Here's my 0.25. Okay, so here's my first full kilometer, two, three, four, five, and here is my a 0.25, a 0.25, a 0.25, a 0.25, and a 0.25. This is kind of neat. Watch this. So I have one, two, three, four, five full kilometers. I have four quarters of a kilometer, which gives me another full kilometer. So that's six full kilometers. And what do I have left? I have left this quarter. So what is my area, or how much space is inside? I have 6 full kilometers, and I have 0.25 kilometers in addition to that. A grand total of 6.25 square kilometers, or kilometer squares. Kind of cool, right? Yeah. All right, folks, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.